Twilight Zone. Ba 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 ba. So it seems like we got this new function from Samsung. I think this was about four weeks ago. We have been told about this link to Windows function. I don't know whether you can see it here. Now, surprisingly, I thought this applied to all of the Android devices, but um, I cannot find this such function on my um, Pixel phone at all. Um, I have actually scrolled up, scrolled down. I actually have looked at the, all the functions as well. It doesn't seem to be there at all. Um, so probably, very likely, as advertised, we only have that function available for Samsung phones. So all you need to do is click on the link to Windows. When you go to your Windows Start button, now you need to scroll down and you'll see on the Y section it says your phone. You click on that and immediately you will have the Microsoft um, function popping in. So what you get is obviously Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G is now connected on my uh, Windows 10. So you get these functions here. The first one is notification. Obviously, I have read all my notifications. That's why it's saying that all clear, enjoy your breathing room. I got the messages here. Um, also, um, so these are the messages I received from my text message on my phone. I got photos here. Now, these are quite interesting uh, tests that I carried out this morning. So what you can do is change your phone into the camera photo setting. Uh, now, if I take it, then on light feed, I will be able to get all the phones. So you can, I could actually download all these photos um, on live immediately. Okay, so we got the screenshot here that I could take photo, well, that I could download immediately onto my PC and then use it. So that would be really handy actually. Now that's the photo on the sc photo screen could also become very handy as well. So what you're seeing here is a live um, screen of what's happening on my mobile phone. So I could scroll up, down, settings, and I could also go on to YouTube. And you could do the same thing, vice versa as well. So let's go to explore, home, uh, subscription, and then uh, you could go to home screen as well. So I, I guess this will be very handy if you can't be bothered controlling your phone directly, you want to use your PC. And the second most important thing that I consider is that I could do a screenshot, record this bit, and then share it with you guys to demonstrate something much more clear of what's going on on my mobile phone. Um, lastly, we got the call. So I actually tried out the phone call to my wife um, a few minutes ago and the sound is pretty clear. So let me just show you a quick test. So if you memorize someone's number, you can actually type it here, or if you forgot, you could also look it up on your contacts, which is saved on your smartphone, obviously. So I'm gonna try calling my wife now on my wife's um, iPhone, whatever it is, 10X, 10, whatever it is, anyway. So it's ringing. So let's answer that. Hello. Hello you're actually hearing the mixture of my microphone and the sound from my wife's phone's voice actually coming to the speaker. Yeah, pretty much proven that the phone system works on your PC. So you don't need to lift up your phone to be able to make a phone call, but you can use your PC instead. Brilliant. On top of the left of your phone, this is the Samsung phone Galaxy S20 Ultra, you'll see this rather odd symbol of square and a square. What this means is it notifying you that you're connected to your PC, okay? So it might drain your battery quicker, so I would advise you to put uh, this on a wireless charger or constant charge. And the this is the cost uh, rather red square as well, so that's quite interesting. Anyhow, I just managed to find something quite interesting here. So if you go to the screen 
of mirror imaging your screen, you'll immediately be able to see the endless twilight zone. Ba 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 ba. Can you see that? That is quite cool, isn't it? Um, <laughs> anyway, I might actually take a use of this one in the near future. So one thing I'm a bit puzzled is, I mean, I saw some other people showing that you could actually directly see your apps, but I cannot see that function on my Galaxy S20 uh, Ultra. But instead I do have this phone screen, uh, which I could technically access individual apps here anyway. So I guess it's the pretty much the same thing, but it would be quite nice to actually have a layout where I could sec secretly see uh, the apps in a grid system order, but maybe there's a different system that I could set up. But so far you can do the phone screen function here. Onto the settings, it's pretty much simplified, but I think at the moment that's pretty much what you can do. But yes, definitely this will come very handy, but for my side of interest is how much can you actually implicate all those PC like function to your actual smartphone rather than doing the opposite here. So it's not something that I will definitely use for constant use, but well, yeah, I mean, why not? Anyway, so I hope this video gave you a bit of an interesting thoughts on this link up and this new technology of what Windows trying to do. And this is something that I don't think Ample is able to cooperate, but we shall see how this race ends. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Have a nice weekend. All the best. Bye-bye.